Ooh, another new room turning into a bit of a friary tour. This is the uh, this is the vocations office. Say a prayer for vocations. Hey, I'm Father Mark Mary with the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal, and this is Ascension Presents. Today we're going to get right into an examination of conscience, and, and here's some some getting a little bit of the lay of the land. Number one, it's got to be prayerful, so we're going to invite the Lord to lead us. Uh, number two, it's thorough but not exhaustive. Uh, we'll include in the description an examination of conscience that you can go to that's written out and trending towards exhaustive. Uh, thirdly, my hope is that this is a resource for you to use today, but also to return to on a regular basis, especially in preparation for future confessions. And lastly, although it's being recorded in quarantine time, um, it's going to be particularly in the areas of Sunday Mass. We're going to give this examination so that can be used universally. Understanding at the time this was released, some Sunday obligations may still be lifted in your in your diocese. So let's begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we love you, we bless you, we trust you. We beg that you send the gift of your Holy Spirit to be with us, to illumine our consciences. We pray, Lord, that you may show us those areas in our lives where we're sinful and struggling and sick, and where you want to heal us and to make us new. We would pray, Lord, for the gift to look upon ourselves with your own eyes, uh, with tender eyes, and with eyes which beckon us to begin again, to renewal, um, and to repentance. And we make this prayer in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. So, so we're going to go about this following sort of the template laid out in the Ten Commandments, though not necessarily specifically or, or sequentially. All right, so first of all, like these first three, how are we doing with our relationship with the Lord? Um, are we making efforts, like real efforts, to pray every day? Um, if we're not praying, right, like it's going gonna, it's gonna to really hurt our spiritual life. So are we making an attempt to pray every day? Um, Sunday in particular, is Sunday a special day? Does it have a different feel from the rest of the week? And is, is it centered on um, our attendance to Holy Mass? Are we making it to Mass on Sundays and other Holy Days of Obligation? And in general, are Sundays a day for worship, um, for renewal, especially in the areas of relationships and for authentic rest? Is there anything in our lives that's, that's trending towards idolatry? Anything that's trying to fill and take the place in our lives of what, what's meant for, for God to fulfill? Are we putting too much focus on work, um, on appearance, on success, or on this world? Um, are we first and foremost seeking the kingdom of God? Do we trust God? Right? The Catechism reminds us that after the first sin, all following sin is, an act, is, is a result of disobedience and a lack of trust in God's goodness. Um, are we making steps praying for the gift to grow in trust? Making a little acts of trust to work the trust muscle? And do we trust God in His timeline? Uh, are we praying and hoping and waiting patiently for His plan to be revealed in due time, but always with hope? Are we using the Lord's name in vain? Are we, are we using vulgar language in general that's not in accord with the dignity of what it means to be a son or daughter of God? And now we're going to move toward this fourth, this fourth command, which is dealing with parents, but in relationships in general. Like, do I honor my parents? Um, do I respect them? Do I care for them? Do I have a heart of gratitude for what they've given me? Um, do I pray for them? Um, if my parents are elderly or for the elderly in general, grandparents, is there space in my time and in my schedule to make sure that they're, they're cared for? and they're, they're not felt like they're abandoned or a burden. How am I doing in relationships with, with friends and family? Am I building up? Am I a man or a woman of communion? Or am I a cause of division? Um, is there anyone who I'm holding resentment towards that I need to prayerfully start asking God to heal me of? Is there areas of unforgiveness? Particularly, is there anyone who I'm not talking to? And can I ask the Lord to, to come and to start bringing healing in that relationship? Thou shalt not murder. Have I committed the sin of murder? Have I participated in or had uh, an abortion encourage another to have an abortion? Have I partaken in any actions which involve the intentional, the fertilization of an embryo and leaning towards it, its storage, it's being frozen or it being destroyed, such as in IVF? Have I done violence myself through ex excessive use of alcohol or drugs? Have I intentionally partaken of alcohol unto drunkenness? Have I done violence to another, even myself, with my words? Have I done harm to my health, either through gluttony, through um, serious unhealthy eating, through not taking care of myself? Right now we'll get into the area of, of impurity, chastity, 
Um, so thou shalt not commit adultery. Have I partaken in adultery? Have I partaken in other um, impure thoughts or actions? Have I, have I objectified another, looked at them impurely, lustfully in my eyes? Have I encouraged another to do so either towards myself or to another? Have I dwelt on impure thoughts or temptations? Have I looked at pornography? Have I had um, impure sexual activity with myself or another who's not my spouse? And we'll include this with masturbation, um, fornication, oral sex, other forms of putting myself or another in an occasion of sin, which is a situation where um, it's likely or there's an extra temptation for us to fall into a sin of impurity. Um, have I intentionally put myself or another in occasion of sin? Have I introduced contraception, Use contraception in, in my marriage? Is the media I use, either what I listen to, what I read, what I watch, um, is it good things or bad things, turning towards purity in the things of God, or am I letting sort of dirt, trash, temptation into my, my eyes and my ears through what I consume? Okay, now we're going to look at, we're going to group together, I'm stealing false witness. Have I taken anything that's not mine? If so, have I tried to make proper restitution? Have I tithed? Have I been generous towards the poor, both with my time and my talent? Or have I committed the sin of omission? Right In the spirit of Matthew 25, that which did not least do to the least my brethren, you did not do to me. Have I committed any sins of omission towards the poor or the suffering, especially those in my families, those in my neighborhood? Have I spent money frivolously, um, overspending, impulse buying, buying unnecessarily, um, even gluttonously? Okay, have I lied about another? Or have I shared information about another um, unnecessarily that wasn't mine to share? Have I done harm to the name and the reputation of another? Have I been covetous or jealous? Um, do I judge critically others um, because of what they have? Do I judge myself because of what I don't have? Do I have a disordered expectation for things to fulfill me or to bring me happiness? Do I uh, unnecessarily bring a burden on myself, tempt myself, put myself in the occasion of coveting or jealousy by look, what I look at, especially social media? Am I able to be grateful for what I have received and therefore be grateful for what God has given to others as well. So again, thank you for doing this exam with me. Um, again, I, I realize it's not exhaustive, but I hope it's thorough. I just wanna focus on and emphasize again, the centrality of our relationship with the Lord, um, seeking first and foremost, the kingdom of God, uh, finding our identity in Him, and prioritizing a prayer life in our daily lives. And remember, we, we worship a God, and we follow a God who who came to heal the sick and who always has a heart for, for the downtrodden and the outcast and the lost. And um, he invites us to do this examination of conscience to bring us to healing, particularly in the sacrament of confession. So my brothers and sisters, after making this good exam, I encourage you to make a good confession. Um, we thank you for much for, for watching. Remember, we're pilgrims on this earth, so much peregrinos. But little by little, poco a poco, vamos a llegar. We're going to make it. God bless you.